camera on. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my first ever proper YouTube video. I cannot believe that I'm saying that. Like I feel like I'm living somebody else's life. The fact that I'm stood here and I'm making a YouTube video and people have asked me, are you gonna make a YouTube channel? But I'm just so, so grateful that like, I already have seven, do you know what? I'm gonna get my phone and I think it'd be fun for me to now document like where I'm at, so two seconds. So as it stands, 7.8 thousand followers on YouTube, which is absolutely unreal considering that this is like my first ever long form video. I've only really been posting shorts. So do let me know if you're here because you've seen my shorts on YouTube or if you've seen me on TikTok or Instagram, because I would love to know where the 7,000 of you have come from. But equally, just know that I'm so, so, so grateful. The dishwasher's going off, hang on. Yeah, that. that should make it stop. So, I sound like that TikTok, the, the feet. It's just honestly absolutely blowing my mind. The fact that quite a few of you have asked me to make a YouTube video. Um, I've been wanting to make a YouTube video, but not that I'm nervous. I am a little bit nervous to make to start making YouTube videos. One is obviously time, it takes a lot longer. So I think the YouTube videos that I'm gonna make are probably gonna be like day in the life and things where I'm just kind of doing what I'm already doing. And I've actually filmed it already, which is why I'm actually filming the intro because I know that I filmed a video or I'm like halfway through right now, but I decided that I needed a change of like task. I'm also already really rambling when I really swore that I was gonna keep this intro succinct. So today I have filmed a day in the life and hopefully you get to know me a little bit more. You get to know like the process of how I actually make my videos because I feel like when you see the final result, it kind of looks like that could have been super easy, super quick. Mm, no, especially this one. I've decided to take you along for like possibly the most um, basically messiest video I could have taken you along on and like I'm sure the final edit is going to make it look like it's easy which is why I love that I've managed to actually film this video today and bring you along so that you can see the reality behind making some of these videos. Please let me know if you're a creator and you make this type of video if if yours looks as like chaotic as mine does because my bedroom right now is just it's just a mess it's just a mess so yeah, I hope that you enjoy this. Put me on your TV or just like put me on in the background. But we're going to the bedroom and we're gonna do a massive wardrobe clear out. So if that sounds like a bit of you, stick around. Okay, so we are in the bedroom, which is where we're gonna be filming. I'm not gonna lie, this is the hardest room for me to film in just because it's not the biggest room and where the bed is, like there's never that much space to put a tripod and move around. Which is why, to be honest, most of the time when you do see this room, I've put the tripod like just outside the door, which kind of gives me the biggest, like the most space to actually show you this room. So yeah, I am filming a very, very exciting brand deal for Vinted. I think I can say that and it doesn't like make this an ad because they've not asked for an ad on YouTube. I'm still quite new to doing brand deals and I just really, really want it to be good. Like I want the brand to like it. So happy that Vinted have asked me to do this video because I cannot tell you how long I've been needing to sort out my wardrobe. Like I will always tell you when something is a bit chaotic. Like you'll, I'll probably open it and you'll be like, that's nothing. But I'm like, not gonna lie, even though I'm cleaning all the time, inside my cupboards, under my bed, like there's these spaces that just end up getting such a mess. So let me go and see what the situation is saying. There's things shoved in, everything's just been shoved on top there. I'm pretty sure I've got stuff that's still got labels on it in here. I need to decide how I'm gonna film this. As I said, this room is really tricky to film in. Like if I'm trying to film this, like this is as far away from the wardrobe as I can get, or the other option is all the way over where you are. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna start like a bit wider so the tripod is over where you are. And then I think I wanna come in. So I'll open the wardrobe over there. And we'll do like a stop motion, like boop, 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 boop. If anyone can recommend to me a tripod that is just like this tall, please let me know because I've bought so many tripods and they're never ever like as tall as I want. I actually think that that is as tall as it's gonna go unless that's, haha. Okay, we've got a little bit taller. 
So we are gonna go in here. I'm gonna start wide, like I said. Something's poking out that's pissing me off over there. So I will put that away before I start. Are we happy? By the way, I film in 4K at 60 frames per second. Or well, sometimes I'll put it in cinematic if I'm feeling a bit funky, but it seems to take a million times longer to edit it because those files are just huge, I think. And I'm gonna go over there. Hello. Okay, we're just gonna go. And that, if that looks good, will be the opening. Let me see what this looks like. A skin through mark coming in. Really, really slowing me down. You can't see. You can't see what I'm looking at. You don't need to see. I'll cut this out. I think I want to go from where I am and do stop motion on the top and then get closer. By the way, when I'm filming this kind of video, it's such a work in progress. Like the chaos, like bear in mind, like everything on top is going to end up on the floor. It just gets so much worse before it gets better. But that's the fun in it. It's going to be chaos. It always is chaos. Right, so I'm going to take some things out. Like these hats. Okay. I'll come back. One, two. Go back. It should come out now. Ow! Did you see that? Now, blop, blop. Let's go back. This box needs to come out. This is my memory box, I like cards and shit. Things that I want to remember. Blop, blop. The trick is you're better off getting a watch or a clicker so you're not touching your phone because you don't want it to move. But I'm just risking it for a chocolate biscuit. There's things that I wanted in my memory box that I was too lazy to put in. But when I sort all this out, everything that's a memory can go in the memory box. Let's go, let's go. I need my Apple Watch on because I know I'm burning so many calories doing this. It's on charge out there, I think. Mark? Is my Apple Watch there? Uh, no. no? I thought I put it on charge out there. Oh shit, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, I found it. Oh, sorts back here. oh my god, ankle weights. Ah, oh, I need these. Okay. Oh my God, a pound. This is gonna be a treat. I can just tell. Plane ticket, more cards, another pound. I'm so out of breath. I'm gonna put my Apple Watch on and I'm gonna set it to a workout. Oh. Probably have to wait until after this video itself has gone out before I post this, so. Hello, let me know what the date is when you see it. Let's go, let's go. Other. Bosh, 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 bosh. Okay, let's move on in. I'm gonna do the wardrobe. I would love to be a bit further back, but I just can't. There's nothing I can do. It's out of my control. Okay, maybe I'll just speed up now this because you're gonna get bored, I think. Why am I nervous? I get nervous to start these things. We'll shove that there for now. I'm going to take a few out at once because if I do it one by one, I'll be there for ages. You get bored. I'll get bored. Okay, so we can just skimmer skimmer through this bit, but pretty much I am just taking a chunk of clothes out of the wardrobe and taking a really quick video just on and off as soon as they're out of the wardrobe. I just had the genius idea that I really should use my Apple Watch instead of actually pressing the button on and off. I'm gonna get my camera up on this. I don't know why I wasn't doing this anyway. Oh no, it's connected to that. I've got two phones on the same Apple ID, so... That's my personal phone. And it obviously just, it was more connected to that one. I've had it a little bit longer. And obviously that's what it thinks its mum is. But it's not. Let's just pick up this rubbish. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go and regroup because 
I've been filming for 14 minutes, so that's actually not too bad to have the whole wardrobe empty in that time. But I'm just, I don't know if I've got enough memory to film everything. And I'm back, just like that. So right now I have arranged a pile of like stuff that I'm gonna sell and stuff that I'm gonna keep. The wardrobe has been cleaned. There's still quite a lot of chaos going on. I'm not gonna show just how chaotic things got. So I think it's just gonna look like we cleared out the wardrobe. We had a nice old time. We made a few little piles and then we popped it on, but I will let you know the reality. I wear the same clothes over and over again. So I don't understand how I have so many clothes because I just wear the same things. Um, but still surprisingly, the key pile was still quite big. I'm rambling. I'm just gonna get on with it. Now I am ready to put the clothes back in the wardrobe, but I've realized that all of my clothes are either white, black, green, or pink. Those are the colors that I wear. That's it, pretty much. I can't decide whether to do it by type of clothing or just go fully by color. Cause I feel like all by color will probably look better, but then it's not that practical if I'm looking for a tank top and I've got one green one there, one pink one there. But then maybe I'll be like, oh, I want to wear a white top. I'll go to the white section. Hmm. I mean, I've got so much less stuff now. I think when I put it in, like no matter what, it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it by color, all by color and not by item. I'm sure that's probably not the best way. I think I'm gonna go black to white, black, green, pink, white. Do you ever do like an internal sneeze that you're forced to be internal because you just don't want the germs to, you know? I am so sorry, my window was open because I was so hot, which is why the audio is just a little bit messed up. These are my go-to tops to wear. Like, I just think, just so easy. My wardrobe is giving Wednesday Adams right now. Okay, again, we can just skim on right through whatever rubbish I was talking while I was doing this, but it's just exactly the same process. I'm doing it one by one this time and then just taking a quick video on and off as soon as I've put a new thing in. Um, I wanted to do this one one by one rather than in chunks because I think you could actually see that I was colour coordinating a lot better. Oh no, there's two, there's things here. Oh, I was supposed to get those in a bit earlier. Never mind. Okay. I to feel good about this, like as if I'm actually making some good progress. I'm never very good at really artistic, <laughs> not that this is like an artistic shot, but just making things look smooth and nice. I always see other people and I think, wow, what a steady hand you've got. But, probably not too bad. I actually have decided to have a quick sandwich break it's actually from Simmons. It's a chicken, bacon, mayonnaise and cucumber. It's an ASMR eating right now, isn't it? Sorry, definitely not keeping that in. I think I might need to get a move on now because actually 80 minutes I've had my Apple Watch on. So that's like 80 minutes since I put it on. I probably, I've been doing this for like a couple of hours and the video we don't want it to be too long also like one of my biggest fears about doing youtube i feel like when i'm doing a voiceover or something like i can kind of pick and choose what i'm going to say obviously i can pick and choose what i'm going to say now but it's going to be a little bit longer and it's going to be a little bit more like you're actually going to get to know me what i'm like like how i behave so i'm kind of really scared about like what people are going to think of me when they watch longer form videos and that probably is a reason that i've not dived into YouTube straight away. Anyway, I'm literally meant to be doing this and that just turned into a whole therapy session. So random, but I'm just sorting through what's keep and delete from that lot. And I love these trousers, right? But I was, I had a pen in my back pocket, right? That I sat on and there's a splodge. So do we think that I would need to like, maybe I've washed these a million times. The pen splodge is not coming out. Um, do we think that maybe I try and tie dye the whole trousers and have tie dye trousers? Like that could be quite cool. Um, yeah, let me know what you think I should do about these, please. Because I don't ever want to throw them away. They're like the best, best, just like baggy fit. Help. I'm going to start black. Also, can anyone recommend a way to store leggings? Because I was like, I just want to have somewhere to put all my leggings. I tend to have quite a lot of pairs of those. I should have bought like new storage things before I started this. That would have been way better. 
the end is near once we get through this stuff. I'm gonna turn you off while I focus on getting this stuff all back in order because we've lost order in here and we need to restore it. But we are, the end is near now. I can sense that we're actually getting somewhere. <sighs> okay, I'm really tired, but do you know what? I actually had to just go through the rest of the room, like all the stuff that was still left out and just power through it without filming for any platform. So the room is clean. I am just gonna quickly hoover and then that is me done with the wardrobe portion of the video. <sighs> I am so hot. I'm gonna hoover and then I'll let you know what my Apple Watch is saying, but it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna show you now what my wardrobe is looking like. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look perfect. Um, turns out I still have a lot of stuff and I don't have like the right organization like boxes or whatever to make it look good, but I'm gonna just show you what I managed to do. Um, and yeah, basically don't feel bad if you take on a big job like this and I'm actually out of breath. Before I talk shit, let's check my Apple Watch. Can you see that? 1,174 total calories. And I had my watch on for three hours and 39 minutes. Bear in mind, like not necessarily the whole time was I working at the wardrobe, we are at 886 total calories. If you want to burn calories, then you know what to do. Wardrobe clear out. Okay, so basically I just think, okay, ignore this red jumper. I'm going to give that, I know who I'm giving that to, so I'm just storing it in there. So that red jumper won't be there. But this is what we look like here. And I've still got like my, my tops and stuff in here. This is so random, right? Like I'm gonna get something better, but there's leggings in here. I'm gonna get something better for this, but I've got all my tops in this box. Down below is just a toiletries box. And up top, I'm not gonna lie, like I wanted this to look better, but I just have stuff and I don't have an amazing way to store it. So yeah, that could definitely look better. But I'm not gonna feel bad. Okay, now in here, Basically, I have a lot of spare hangers now, but this is mostly like trackies and stuff. Again, like it could look better, but up top what looks way better. This is like my pajama box. Okay, I wish it was shutting, but it's not. It's my pajama box, but I managed to get rid of all of the rubbish that was in there. And sadly there's, <laughs> I don't wanna talk about down there. I've got stuff in those boxes and I just don't have the right storage to like change that. So yeah, I could have done better and I'm not doing the drawers yet. I'm gonna do them another day. But do you know what? I'm kind of happy with what I've managed to achieve. Okay, so now I'm not gonna lie. I just need to sit down and just decompress for a minute because that was three and a half hours of just pure doing stuff. Um, so I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I'm gonna have a little sit down and I'm probably gonna just make a start on the edit. So here is where I'm gonna sit and decompress. Sit and decompress after just filming that whole thing. No surprises, the phone that I was using is literally about to die any second. So I've got an extra long charger. Please work. You've got to turn it around. Um, I've got an extra long charger. I'm going to sit here. I've got a water, I've got a cup of tea. I'm just gonna sit back and just crack on with the edit. I'm kind of failing at the first hurdle here. It's been like this for ages. Okay, took a bunch of stuff out and we're at 3%. What is going on? We want this to work. Aha, okay, we're on to a winner here. I'm gonna go through and start editing this bad boy up. I'm about to do the voiceover, but I'm trying to export this. And this is the worst thing about InShot. Like I should just pay for it, but some of the ads are so impossible to get past. Like I, I, it's, I know, I've seen this one so many times and it makes you watch it for about five minutes straight before you can like get the free watermark removal. Honestly, ah, the heavenly X. This is the longest process, but I'm going to export it and then do the voiceover in CapCut because I haven't figured out how to do a voiceover in InShot. I'm going to export it at 4K and 60 frames per second because that's what I filmed in. Please look good. Save. Please free me. Free me from these ads. But let's do the voiceover now. 
Sometimes I retake things quite a lot of times, but I'm gonna try and just do it all in one go. No way. No way will I do that. Okay, let's do this. We've got this. Join me in having a massive wardrobe clear out. I've needed to do this for so long. I feel like I started a little bit. Join me in having a massive wardrobe clear out. I've needed to do this for so long. Don't really like that. Join me in having a massive wardrobe clear out. I've needed to do this for so long. Join me in having a massive wardrobe clear out. I've needed to do this for so long. Did I prefer the so long? <laughs> Or is that fine? I would love to say that I do this so easily and like it doesn't take me a few goes. It does kind of take me a few goes. Okay, one more go. Join me in having a massive wardrobe clear out. I've needed to do the... the ba, 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 ba. Should I just go back to the other one? Okay, the kettle is boiling again, but I have finally finished the voiceover. I'm honestly so sorry that this video ended up being just all about that one brand deal, but it's now um, 6.58 and I've just finished. So it's taken me all day, it's seven o'clock. So I'm probably now gonna start editing this YouTube video so that I can just get it done. It's quite a nice little task that I can just sit on the sofa and just relax. Weirdly, I'm so enjoying just like talking to the camera and just like being real with you and taking you along. Let me know if you have enjoyed this behind the scenes. Um, if you haven't enjoyed it, also let me know. I like a bit of constructive criticism. That's the phrase. Um, so yeah, let me know what you like about this video. Let me know what you think I should do better next time. Um, but until then, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, then subscribe. That is the first time I've ever said that in my life. But yeah, thank you. Lots of love. Goodbye.